Well, today we're going to discuss a movie called Luther, The Fallen Sun. It's a very dark British detective story. It's not a typical British detective story, but it is similar to the series Luther that played for a period of time. David. Steve. Good to see you. There is really a, uh, a, I, I found to be one of the darkest British uh, detective stories that, uh, that, I, that I've, I personally have seen. Um, and not at all typical of what you normally see when you, you see British detective stories, which are quite a bit different than American detective stories. Well, there are your some reactions. Yeah, well, there are some differences, um, but I would say, you know, actually, this whole the 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 term "dark" in terms of uh, film uh, scholarship, of course, co- relates to the term uh, "film noir," uh, and in television and in uh, film, both British and American uh, film production. In fact, there's a there's an argument that film noir started. You know, it was it's a French critic's term was yes. in the 60s. Right. But it relates to film style that goes back in the British uh, um, example to the 1930s, even before. Essentially, it's a post-war uh, American uh, phenomenon. But uh, but I, I think, you know, um you know there are um, there are differences between the British and American. Um, guns are not as apparent as they are in American uh, stuff. Um, fewer car chases. Um, um, Just the violence level, and yeah, the yeah yeah, and uh, that's why I thought this one was was more in the American mode than the British mode. Well, and the series was also um, kind of in that mode as well. Uh, The series ran from, I think, 2010 to 2019. And, um, you know, I I think some of the problems in the film, uh, and I know you you, you share some of these these, um, uh, um, opinions, uh, that, that some of the same problems were in the series. And uh, also, I have to say, I really like Andy Serkis. He's, you know, very famous, probably most famous for Gollum, uh, and uh, does a lot of the body um, mass, uh, not but you know the body uh, stuff that uh, that that kind of acting involves. Also, a British actor, um, and um, <laughs> I have to little piece of trivia. I don't know. Were you um, bothered by? His hairdo when when he first appears. No, um, I I have to admit. <laughs> Look, about, you noticed it though, right? About, about the, the hairdo, yeah, you probably yeah. should tell our audience a little bit more about the, the factual background of, of of Luther before we we start diving into this. Sure, 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 sure. Um, well, I mean, Luther it, himself is 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 a a police officer at the at the time the the movie starts. And what the series and, and during the, the former series that David alluded to, he was a police officer. But what happens in the, at the very front of the, the of this movie is is that there's this character who has um, a very evil uh, pattern in terms of, of just simply doing violence to people that is on the dark web. And um, decides that when when Luther is starts investigating one of the kidnapped people, and that's what happens. These individuals get kidnapped, disappear, and then years later they they they, they may show up, um, just they, deceased. Um, but the 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 character then has the um, investigation start. Because he's got the money, and monetary wealth, to to look into Luther's former cases, and is able to have Luther then throw first, you know, thrown off the police force and then arrested for for crimes that he committed as a police officer. Um, from the from the movie, it's not totally clear as to whether these are real cl- crimes or whether they were somewhat manufactured 
in order to get Luther um, off the police force and into prison. Into prison. Um, I, I don't know if, if from if you'd seen the series, if 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 the if the criminal element is is really a relevant part of the uh, the picture that's being presented. David did. Well, he, you know, also, yeah, his uh, his police uh, uh, moniker is DCI, which I'm not sure if I detective something investigate. I'm not sure what DCI sta- stands for. But one of the features of British uh, detective stories is, and I think this also applies to American as well, is is uh, characters who don't play by the rules. Um, they, 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 they think outside the box. And that's definitely the case with this character with Luther. Um, he, um, he, 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 and so there's always this, this sense that he's walking the edge. And, uh, and so anytime you're walking the edge, there's always an issue about, do you step over it? And right. So that's, a, that's the ambiguity. But the, but the, but the sense to, that I took as a viewer was, that uh, it, this was all about uh, the uh, uh, David Roby, who was the Andy Circus uh, 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 plays, uh, that he, it was co- it, it just cooked up uh, uh, to, but convinced the court to put uh, Luther into uh, lockup. Yeah, as I said, that, that was really an ambiguity in, in, in the movie um, that as, as to whether he really was a rogue cop who, who got convictions and got people arrested, but definitely crossed the line or, or whether this was a, uh, a manufactured. And even at the end, the, the way the movie ends, you, you still don't know um, just how accurate are, are the, the criminal element that got him into the prison in, in the first place. That's true. Absolutely. Um, yeah, but but the bad guy is is truly a bad guy in this one. Well, yeah, he uh, 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 he's always fun to watch. I think though he kind of, in terms of the the film, he comes across uh, as a kind of uh, you know uh, a silly a silly villain. And one of the one of the uh, reviews of the piece uh, suggested that that was also a problem with the series, which I kind of agree with, that Luther is such a presence. The actor is such a presence. His incor- his embodiment of Luther is, is such a presence that the villains that are thrown his way are lightweights. You know, they don't, they don't have the, um, you know, the the gravitas that Lu- that Luther and the actor who plays Luther have, um, and at least one critic said that um, that uh, circuses David Roby uh, elicits more chuckles than chills, uh, and I I kind of agree with that. I enjoyed the I enjoyed his performance because it was very amusing. Yeah, though. No. Yeah, Idris. In terms of Luther, Idris Elba is is the actor, and and he is a. I've not seen him do a bad performance. It may be out there, but I've not I've not seen it. I agree, and of course, ever since he dawned on, I think all of our uh, uh, consciousness back in um, two thousand and two, HBO series The Wire, which is still a very, uh, you know, top top piece of work. Uh, he he uh, you know he he's 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 an incredible actor and uh, of course he comes from a, a tradition of uh, you know English language theater and and acting that uh, yes. world class. Yeah, the, yeah, The Wire itself, you know, you know, it's always tough to say what's your all time favorite TV series, but it's certainly in my top five. Um, I, I, I was, uh, really absorbed by, by that particular series. Right. It was just amazing. 
Yep, yep. And it was set in Baltimore where I went to high school and early college. So uh, that was another oh. resident thing, thing with me. <laughs> so you recognize some of the areas. and so I did. I did. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, yeah. The series, the first, uh, the, the Luther series, um, that had a, another actor, actor, actor who um, was brilliant in it, Ruth Wilson. I don't know if you've ever seen her work. Also a British actress, uh, but uh, but for all of its you know potential weaknesses or crit- critical uh, issues, it still was a fascinating um, you know binge worthy kind of uh, uh, piece to show. I don't know if we've mentioned this uh, film is on uh, Netflix, and yes. uh, and the and the um, the series is also available on net- on Netflix, and the uh, series. And the film uh, uh, were uh, written by and directed by the same people who did the series. Oh, that's interesting. The that's- uh, but the the the, the violent this this film is is not for 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 everybody. No, if 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 if, if, if violence um, watching violence is is really a problem for you. You want to stay away from this in this, this film. Well, and I have to say, you know, because the other uh, um, area uh, in terms of work that that we kind of spend our evenings sometimes watching uh, are the Korean uh, uh, teleseries and stuff. But you know, I, I was just telling somebody the other day that you know, watching this stuff with such evil being presented. I mean. This is people at its at worst in violence and and and, and doing things that are are are, are revengeful and uh, it, you know you, you go man am I ingesting poison here you know and, you know maybe I need to need to cut back on it because it's just kind of it's potentially dangerous stuff to absorb. Um, but, but there's violence and there's violence. I mean the the old Sam Peck and Paul westerns. Yep, the, that was so, so stylized. Funny. Yeah, no, it got very violent. Yeah, it was. It, you knew it, it. It just wasn't real. Yeah, slow motion um, guns going off with the bullets coming out, and yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, it, was, it was great drama, um, and that was kind of the fascination of those early Clint Eastwood um, um, for a fistful bad, of dollars, bad, or, the ugly, and yeah, yeah, and, um, yeah. I mean, they they were all very very stylized, violent, yes. But it, it just wasn't didn't have a real you really were conscious of the fact that you're watching a filmmaking process. At least at least I was. Well, yeah. For this and, particular and, film, um, when they when they start talking about, you know, peeling away, which it did, did not happen, you know, uh, a person's skin as as to peeling a snake, I mean, you got a sense that, th- that this was at a whole different level. Well, I think too, it's 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 violence on steroids because, and what's what's the the the, the evil aspect of it is all of the motivations. In other words, if you got a gunfight at OK Corral, that's one thing. That's that can be violent, but if you've got someone who's plotting to to torture people, and because this thing is filled, yes. with, it has a lot of torture stuff in it. Right. Uh, is just that's why I called it dark. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, and it, it's it's just soul rotting stuff, you know. Um, but at the same time, it's somewhat fascinating because it's the it, because it's unreal. Oh, it it's not, yeah, 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 it's, yeah. It's not it's not the real thing. Yeah, no, it it it's it, it's 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 it, it, it's it's amazing. Uh, but the uh, the the fact that there there is a certain amount of dark web reality to all this um you know the the fact that that you, you there there probably have been instances of, of people being kidnapped and 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 there have been at least i don't know how real they are um but every once in a while you do you do get a newspaper story about uh, you know somebody being being filmed who's, who's being tortured well, uh, yes, and and of, of course, this whole, I mean, talk about current American shootings that are, you know, the 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 well, evil, 
Yeah, I mean, the evil that permeates our lives um, on the world stage as well as nationally and in other jurisdictions, uh, it's, it's, it's troubling to say the very least. And, uh, and this film, you know, echoes and, and mirrors a, 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 a lot of that. I mean, it's, it's. Uh, yeah. The reason I was saying it was more American than British too, is that it actually shows some of the violence, you know, where the, the more traditional, like on the, on Sunday evening on some of the PBS detective shows, um, they, they, they talk about it. You see the lead in and then, then you see the after effect, but you don't see the actual shooting, for example. Uh, right. But 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 here you you really do do see some violent acts being occurring, violent acts occurring. Right. Well, and, you know, in, interesting, too, is to note Hitchcock's work. Uh, Hitchcock did a lot of uh, detective related back from the 30s, 20s, actually, he started making films. Uh, but the ability, you know, they the ability to suggest without showing explicitly is a powerful tool that artists yes, have. And I tend to like the, the British way of doing it. Um, more well, subtle. It's a lot more subtle. Yeah. 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 And, and, you know, the best of even American stuff also has that. I want to say te- it's not technique. It's just, but it's a, an approach to, uh filmmaking as well as uh you know theater the notion that you 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 show things you work out too much explicit and it weakens it you become numb to it instead right. of really the more powerful things are when they're suggested and the audience fills in the blanks rather than it being seen explicitly yeah some of the tv series um i i Personally, I I enjoy watching some of these detective stories, but there are certain ones I I don't watch because it's it's just too much on on the violent end. Yep, it's showing it ex- expressly as opposed to where the British is. You, you you get to learn about the detective. You learn about his his personal story or her her personal story. Um, the the there's a lot more development on the storyline as opposed to the action line right well and that's the other thing too that this movie uh the characters are not very deep uh their motivations Except are luther. Not, yeah yeah and yeah in in the in luther is the exception well except for yeah no that's that's true uh because you know he's facing the dilemma of dealing with this madman uh, and, and it's and it's bad bad ways, but um, but the the, the 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 in general, uh, and this was true in the the series as well. Character was a minor part of what was going on, and uh, and and that's really that's you know that's really an important part of the uh, of, of, of the again the film uh, message is the not only the situation. But the but the characters and who they are and what are the, what their motivations are. Right, right, and the the motivation is, is uh, on the evil. Uh, our evil man is real clear. What 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 motivated him um, to go down the, this this road? Go. So, how he became wealthy, how he had the wealth, and so forth. None of that is explained. Right. Um, but but you know the the fact that, that he has a, a wife who is who is barely alive um, and is to- totally wheelchair bound, um, and a burn victim. Yeah, and a burn victim. Jeez. Um, and then he ends up um, you using fire as 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 one of his main 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 points in terms of getting his 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 presentation across um it's, it's it's called by what, th- this character is called by, by one critic a cyber sicko <laughs> oh that's that's a good that's that, that's good that's, that's good yeah um but uh but your your analogy to film no noir is i think really appropriate 
Um, there's on, on Saturday night um, on on Turner Classics. They 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 frequently show the, some of these film noirs that uh, are did, are are not generally available. Yeah. Um, but they're 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 fascinating in terms of uh, the 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 subtle storylines. Yeah. Uh, and the tones, the tones, and, the tones. and, yeah. and they're, they're, and they're wonderful, mostly black and white films, which is, uh, uh, yeah, the ones are frequently there, their late forties, early fifties, right? the American ones, you're right. The British ones go back a little further, but it's, uh, it, it, it is amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, getting back to this hairdo, uh, um, it turns out that there's a little bit of a buzz on the internet about Circus's hairdo. Uh, oh, yeah, a and because uh, it looks it looks like a wig from hell, you know. Oh, I mean, that part is true. Yeah, yeah but it, it's actually his hair. Yeah, you know. Oh. And, yeah, no, it's actually his hair, and because he and there's a piece, you know, the the internet's filled with this kind of trivia stuff. But he apparently was challenged that. Oh God, well, what about that crazy, crazy hair dude? Oh no, that was real, and they had a hairdresser work on him for like four hours to do it. So, and it oh, disappears my. after the first sequence. <clears throat> no, I, I didn't realize. I didn't realize. <laughs> um, you know, there's another there's another actress also who plays a supervisor in the film who does uh, Cynthia uh, Erivo, I think is how it's pronounced. Uh, also a um, actually she's Nigerian. She's from Ni uh, parents are from Nigeria. Um, but the thing is about British work uh, across the board is that unlike American stuff, uh, it does generally tend to have a uh, great ensemble work. The actors work together rather than having the big star just jump out. Also, they use a variety of ages. You think about, uh, you know, our locally produced shows like, uh, especially uh, Magnum uh, uh, is a good example of it. Uh, it's like... Uh, it's it's like uh, um, under twenty five year olds cavorting on the beach. It's 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 that's the that's the demographic. Right. Whereas British stuff it goes old to middle to young, and uh, and and those qualities make it so much richer than American uh, product, which tends to be. At least, at least episodic television now in the U.S. is very, very narrow, narrow band, narrow, narrow band width. Yeah, one of the positives of, of the film was actually the interaction between Cynthia and her daughter. And yes, that when 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 her, her daughter gets gets captured and being, is potentially one of the victims, that whole set of sequence was one one of the one of the, of the better elements of, of the film. Well, uh, and, and and the it, other thing it had a real sense of realism to it. Exactly, and the other thing that the British uh, tend to bring to the table with their actors uh, is actors with theater credits and real accomplishments. So these, it's kind of like when talkies came in in Hollywood in the '30s. The, the transformation was New York actors moved from New York doing theater to film. And that's why, you know, generally speaking, 30s films, comedies or, or serious stuff have great actors and actors who speak with very elevated uh, mid-Atlantic uh, accents. Uh, and uh, but British has continued that the British have because they have one union. They only have one union, which is. Oh. Yeah, they, it's whether you're doing stage work, television work, or theater, you're in the same union, and of course, in U.S., it's all fragmented. Right, and you got the extras having one union as opposed to the the principal actors. 
being in another. Me... Well, that was. It's now. It's now all well, that. That part. The, the well, they uh, consolidated there. Yeah, yeah. Now the background actors, as the term is, you know, sanitary engineer instead of an en- instead of a janitor. Uh, it, it, the the uh, background actors now are a part of because it used to be a screen extras guild. Say, right. That's what I remember. Yeah, but it's it's no it's been absorbed into SAG after. So, uh, but but. The, the, the fact is that most television actors in the U.S. rarely are they theater experienced. And it brings another level of richness to the storytelling to have actors who know what the elements of good acting are. Yeah, no, and that's, I think, part of the strength of Idris is the fact yes. that he's got that background and the fact that he's... Um, just a, a very powerful, powerful presentation. Yes. Yeah. He's got he's got substantial theater credits. Yeah. Yeah. So, in terms of a one to ten, what what what, what do you think? Mm. Well, just on the strength of Mr. Elba's performance, I would put it at an eight plus ish oh yeah i was more like seven i wasn't but again partly yeah no he without him i mean you know he keeps he keeps you involved yep. um you're 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 wondering you know how's he gonna gonna pull you you know at the end he's he's somehow gonna pull this thing off um but even at the, 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 those ending scenes which i gather were filmed up in norway with, with where they're snowed in on that I mean that's that whole yeah. Yeah. process was was just uh, amazing. amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Well, I, I'm I'm with you. If you if you, as an overall, I'm I'm at the seven, maybe even a seven minus level uh, in terms of the film as a whole. But if you just focus on on oh. uh, yeah on Elba's performance, I would I would be more generous. But I, I, I'm with you. I'm with you on it. Yeah. No. It it's it's. Uh, it's amazing to have that that kind of ability to be yeah. able to, to do that. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, the other the other th- just to, to note, uh, the diversity thing. I mean, organically British stuff, and this is a good example of it. Organically bring diversity to the table, you know, because you know they're people. These are people. And it's not like here we have a little bit of we have a woman, we got someone of color, we got yeah. And and oftentimes in American product, it's like it looks like it was done with an affirmative action committee instead instead of you know well, these people all fit in. They exactly, all, exactly. Yeah, and no, they're Brit, you know, and they share the commonality of being British. Right. Right. Yeah. So on that element, thank you for uh, your your comments. Thank and, you. Uh, Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching Think Tech Hawaii. If you like what we do, please like us and click the subscribe button on YouTube and the follow button on Vimeo. You can also follow us on Facebook. Instagram, and LinkedIn, and donate to us at thinktechhawaii.com. Mahalo.